Last week, I showed you what it's like to completely unplug and relax in La Ventana at the RV park and have everything at our fingertips from produce and seafood brought to us to an amazing restaurant on site. But today, I'm going to take you along for a ride in town and show you what a day is like to shop for groceries, search for an ATM that has money, do laundry, and get some tacos at a restaurant here in La Ventana which is down in the Baja California Sur of Mexico. Plus, you're gonna get to hang out with Denny and Veronica again, along with a cool cat, Callie. That is my view. I moved over here this morning. I'm gonna show it to you once the wind dies down, but we had that Norte wind that came through a couple of days ago, which is great for all the kite boarders and kite surfers out here, but uh, not good like to be outside sometimes in it. It's really windy and it just kills the microphone. So I'll show you once the wind dies down a little bit tonight, but it's beautiful. So that is my view from the front window and that is where the sun comes up every morning. We've got a beautiful spot over here. Well, I'm not gonna go into it all with you right now. I'll show you later. Fresh tortillas. 24 pesos, which is what? The equivalent of like a dollar US? Dollars and change. So now we're going to get some um, pesos. We were trying to find an ATM that had cash since we pay in pesos for everything, including the RV park, our groceries, and the restaurants. There are only three ATMs in town two at convenience stores, and one here at Playa Central, which is a very cute place to get food and drink and watch the kite surfers. We struck out, however, with getting cash, so now we have to wait for it to be refilled in a couple of days. My favorite saying these days is, well, this is Mexico. Sometimes things don't work out the way that you plan, so you adjust or just wait. Well, after failing miserably at finding cash, we decided to get some fish and shrimp tacos for sustenance and then hit up the local fruit and produce market. I love the simplicity of this place with all of the coolers for the refrigeration and all the fruits and vegetables in this open air market. It just somehow speaks to my senses. That beet juice is so good. So we're getting all of our produce over here because our guy that usually drives by did not show up. So we gotta get our own stuff. They got lots of good fresh vegetables here. Mint. Yeah? It smells so good in here. Mint? It smells that. Oh my gosh. Lots of mint. So fresh. And some salad mix. It's definitely not a one-stop shop here in La Ventana for food though you have to visit several stores to get all of your groceries. We're going to the fish store now to get some fish. So cute. Hola. Hola. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Hola. Hola. Ooh. I got some frozen strawberries at the fish store and also some yellowtail cook that up, put that in our tortillas that we we got earlier. Mm -mm. Oh, this is our show floor right here, Denny. Yes. RV Outlaws, go check them out. They don't have a YouTube sleep. channel. They're Instagrammers and TikTokers. Wait, don't forget me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's bangs back there. Hey, bangs. <laughs> she cut her bangs. Veronica's her real name back there. Veronica cut her bangs. She's so international looking, but we just call her bangs. You can't see them though. That's a good day. Kelly. 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 Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Kelly's just enjoying the view. This RV that we're in is a Thor Gemini, correct? 23 feet long? Yeah, 23.9, yeah. 23.9. It's really cool in here. They actually modified it a little bit, but it's got one slide on it. It's a, a great, great, great RV, and it's on the Ford Transit chassis, correct? All-wheel drive. All-wheel drive. All-wheel drive, let's go. 
we're driving. <laughs> Crap flies whenever you're driving, it's not bolted down. <laughs> It's chicken time now. We have literally a chicken store. Mmm, it does smell good in here. Oh. So I learned this trick to convert pesos. So if it's 100 pesos, you move the decimal point over one to the left, so now it's 10. Divide that by two, and now it's five dollars US, so you can do conversion very easily. I wish I knew this trick a long time ago. Because <laughs> it's easy. Whole chicken was 180 pesos, so move the decimal point over one, that's 18. Divided by two is nine, so nine dollars US for a whole cooked chicken. This one. With, with sides and it smells so good. I didn't get any though, because I cooked a ton of chicken the other day. So I just picked up the laundry. It was 120 pesos for a whole load of laundry, which is, let's see, 120, carry the decimal, 12 divided by two is $6. So $6 for full service laundry, cleaning and folding. Super nice. Last stop is a grocery store, and um, yeah, there's actually zero sign that says groceries. So how are you supposed to know this is a grocery store if there's no sign that says that? Trust, trust the people. <sighs> oh, more beet juice. So here I just need bread and mayonnaise. Or, yeah, I tried to look for bleach, I didn't see any. All right, so one other fun fact, they're eggs, they're not refrigerated. Oh, you got the eggs! How many eggs did you get? I didn't get any. Wait, what's the interesting fun fact? Why do they not uh, refrigerate their eggs? Because they come too quick and they have no space. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's something we should look up. Is it okay? Yeah, most eggs are always. Yeah, so out. I heard, and maybe this is incorrect. Yeah, they're, ours are like sprayed and pasteurized and stuff, so they have to refrigerate them, but they don't do that here, so they just last longer. They're natural, yeah. Yeah. All right, Veronica. Okay. Go get your egg. That is a beautiful view, isn't it? It is. All right, you get front door service today. Nice. Thank you. Here we go. So excited about all the groceries that I got. I love those produce stands. Like, it's just amazing to see all that fruit and vegetables and it's so fresh and it's very inexpensive. This, they call it beet juice. It's beets and carrots and orange juice and it is phenomenal. The produce guy comes around with this stuff so I probably should have got two of these because it's so darn good but uh, i give him some business when he comes by. So I was supposed to leave here on Monday, but this spot opened up and I was like, I just gotta do it. So by the time I leave here, I think I'm gonna stay maybe another week or so. So let's just say I stay another week. It'll be almost three weeks that I've been here. And it's been so refreshing and I just love it guys. It's beautiful. I'm actually thinking about coming down here maybe for the entire season uh, at the end of this year, in the fall. Get here like in October, stay for three, four months, maybe five months, something like that. I don't know, we'll see. It is a beautiful life here, guys, beautiful. I am so in love with this place, love it. Good morning, friends. I gotta show you this view out here, but I'm making coffee really quick. I'm almost done. I've got it all brewed and ready to go and I'm just gonna pour it right in here really quickly. I slept so amazing out here. It'll be like two seconds ago your time, but eight hours mine. I, uh, this is my almond milk that I put in here. Um, I moved over to my new spot and it's so, so pretty over here. And you gotta see this view. So it's still kind of dark out. We're getting those pre-dawn hours of the uh, sunrise. So 
it's just amazing that I wake up to this. Like I can just look out my window and see it. So let me turn this around and show you. We'll get as much as we possibly can. When it's dark like this, I can't have this big light on that I've got on me right now. Defeats the purpose of seeing the sunrise. All right, here we go. This is out my window. These views, well, it never gets old. It's not just the view that is so profound with the ever-changing colors painted in the sky. It's also the feeling and the emotion that comes to the surface when you gaze at this inspiring painting, fully present in the quiet and the stillness of the morning. It's such an amazing view out here. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. And the moon is like a beautiful crescent moon. It's pretty cool. At this moment, nothing else matters. Not the craziness of world events, nor the stressors, frustration, or complications of life. Instead, it evokes this feeling of peace and calmness. This morning, I absolutely couldn't believe my eyes. I was like a giddy schoolgirl when I saw these yellow rays fanned out over the horizon from the sun coming up. I've only seen something like this in graphic art, but not in real life. I'm still in awe over this moment, the story that I can add to my life. It makes me so incredibly happy to witness this awesome sight and experience a moment that I'll never see again in this form. So I look forward to coming out here each morning and discovering a new work of art, presented and then erased as the sun comes up. It's only there for a short time and then it's gone. And by the way, if you're looking to travel full time but aren't sure where to start to prepare yourself, then click the link below to start your nomad journey with a community to support you. So I'm gonna touch up the plastic molding around my van. It's very faded and has these weird like white patterny lines. So I bought this stuff here called Caracote. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I know sometimes this will just help people. Um, I actually saw them on Instagram, somebody else used them and they were crazy amazing how it came out. So I'm gonna show you the before and after that. You can see the pattern here of this like kind of a uh, fadedness. We're gonna get all that on, off. Well, it's a little bit windy out because we still have that Norte wind coming through. But man, is it beautiful out here. Uh, the view is pretty outstanding. Now I get to do it with this little girl right here. Lily, you get to say hi, Mama? It's like attacking me. <laughs> oh, my baby. Oh, I tell you, it is a whole different experience being over here in this particular spot versus where I was at before, kind of in the back and didn't get the ocean view, but being able to put out the hammock with, you know, these palm trees and relaxing out here and seeing this when you wake up in the morning, it's pretty, pretty spectacular. So the difference is it was $17.50 or 350 pesos for the other spot. And here it's 500 pesos or $25 per night. So. A little bit difference in price, but you know, for the time that I'm here, it's it's worth it. I love it. Hey, Toko Toko. Kelly, what are you doing? She's not having. She's my way. She's sunning herself. Look at that. Are you annoyed? I know, look at him. It's the ghost. It's the ghost. Don't let a boy get you. Oh, ooh. You 
you turned around. You're going the wrong way, mister. Oh yeah, look, there's the babies. Join me next week when I travel all by myself back to the United States and answer the question, is it safe to travel on your own in Baja? And I'm gonna give you some tips I've learned if you do travel solo. And by the way, leave me a comment and let me know what part of the world you are watching from. And also push that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified every time I come out with a new video. See you next week.